good morning. It's Thursday, 8.30 a.m. and I'm out the door very early this morning. I have a meeting at the hospital this morning with the staff of the uh, rehab center, the nurses, the doctors, and Moose as to how his progress is going and what the prognosis is. The local mountains are absolutely beautiful with the snow all over them. Good morning, friends. It's Nanny from Nanny and the Moose. As you know, in the video that I put up two days ago, I was on my way to have a, a meeting with the doctors and the physical therapy people that are working with him. The pain has definitely lessened. It's not half as severe as it was. They're lessening up on the medication. It's a process, they told me, of, of give a little and, and take a little. They have him sitting up in a wheelchair now quite a bit during the day. And I think being in bed is makes him, I've known that always, whenever something happens and he's in bed for at least two days, then you're back to zero one, so far as mobility goes. When I was there, the physical therapist showed me leg exercise that she was doing with him while he was in the wheelchair. And I remembered them and so I had him doing them. I'm not the therapist that can keep him going, but he actually is listening to me and doing it with me. I know that you miss Moosey and um, once again, thank you so much for your prayer and your well wishes. But Debbie sent me and it arrived in the, in the mail two days ago it was a package called Spoonful of Comfort. And I didn't know what it was. It said perishable, refrigerate. I didn't know that it was from Dubby, but I opened it up. It was quite heavy. And it was a company that sends items of soups, mostly soups and delicious cookies on the side and some rolls to go with your soups. They have all kinds of soups and they, packaged it beautifully. I took a little video as I opened it up. The beautiful soup spoon. This is a lovely company. And Debbie sent me this because she knows I'm alone and that I'm such a great caregiver for dad, she says. What a lover Debbie is. Oh, and I can't wait to dig into some of these things because <clears throat> it is true, I'm eating kind of crazy with the help of Del Taco and some peanut butter and apples. But you know, that's kind of the way I like it. Well, I'm dying to see what these soups are. Gonna shut the camera. Rolls, fresh rolls. And look at these cookies. Oh my gosh, isn't this lovely? Ooh, chocolate chip cookies. And in here is something that says perishable and it's all wrapped up, it's packed in a perishable ice pack are two very heavy oh, chicken noodle soups, which look absolutely wonderful. Oh, and does that warm the heart? So I have two of these, and that means I can have two nights of wonderful soups. You know, I was going to make a soup today to have because the weather's been so bad. Oh, my sweet Dubby, what a thoughtful gift and a great company. And it was chicken noodle soup, two cartons of it fresh with these wide noodles, a lot of chicken and carrots. And it was so good. I had it that first night and enjoyed it so much. I sat in my warm bed. <laughs> you know, you, you I, I tell you about Lucy and I being in bed so much and eating in bed, but you know, our bedroom, is not an ordinary bedroom. First of all, the cottage is all adobe brick, thick one foot walls. And the ceilings are all beautiful cathedral ceilings with big fat beams. This was built about 90 or 100 years ago. And I think it was built by hand by someone who lived up in these hills before there were, uh, I think there were avocado trees and oranges and whatever else up here. But it has a fireplace and it's a corner fireplace made out of the stones that were found on the property and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. It's not only pretty, but so warm when you light it. I haven't used it since, um, since Moosey's been gone, 
But when I light that fire at night, it's like being in a cozy lodge, not really a bedroom. So I had it again last night. There, there's probably enough for me to have it three or four nights in a row. And my bowls were big and hot and hearty. And um, I'll probably be eating that once or twice more at night. And it's just enough when I come home and I do what I have to do around here before I hop in bed. I'm usually tired by the time I get home. Actually, I did have rather a busy day yesterday after I left the hospital. I started early. My appointment at the hospital with the doctors and the, the um, team was at uh, 9.40 in, in the morning. So I did have a, a chance to do all these things during the day. I also stopped finally at the eye doctors. And um, I thought, gee, maybe I could get an appointment just on the spot, somebody canceled. But no, um, it would have been that night sometime and I, I just knew that was not the right time for me. So I made an appointment to have my eye exam. Being a diabetic, I, I should be having one at least once a year. And so, um, as you know, my glasses are still, can you see, they're falling off my face still. I might have to go back because this is crucial. Every time I bend over, my glasses fall off. And you know, I'm getting to the point where I can see better without the glasses. The lenses are getting, they're, they're old. But I looked at while I was there making my appointment, which by the way, isn't until the 16th of March. And I have a feeling something else we might have a, another appointment that day. But I looked around at all the glasses, you know, for frames. I was hoping maybe to put new, my new um, lenses in these frames, if, but they're, they're old. They're probably two years old and I love them. They're made um, BCBG, I think um, that's, that's a name also in fashion, but uh, that's who makes these glasses. And I didn't see any like these. I think they don't carry the BCBG, but frames are so expensive. I couldn't believe it. Uh, 250, 260, 270, 300 dollars for frames, and I didn't see any this big. They're all small frames, so I I don't know. I might investigate other avenues for for doing getting new glasses and everything. After that, I also went to Ross, but I found something. You know how you stand in line and there's things on both sides, and you look at them, you pick them up impulse buying, but there's also things that people have in their carts that they decide while they're waiting in line that they don't want anymore and they put that on the side, whatever. Well, one of those things I happened to pick up and it was a box, a pretty large box, but it had on the face one of these makeup mirrors and I'm going to show it to you now that have the lights all around you know those little LED lights and this one was kind of unusual because it had speakers and various other things well it was only twenty dollars originally uh quite a bit more expensive now I have it plugged in so it might pull I'm going to show you this isn't this cute it's it's quite a good size you can't see it. You're seeing my ceiling and everything here. It has all these little lights around the end and it has a speaker on the back. It has a place to put your telephone, which I had to glue on. You stick it in here. Over here are all the controls. It has speakers down here on the bottom and I can't figure out why you need all this, but evidently while you vlog, it has speakers involved. I love it. It has a little tray down here. It's quite large, so I can't back up because I, I have it plugged in. And you plug it into your USB um, thing. That's how you charge it. See? See all the controls on the back? Now, I love this. It's a great, nice, big size. And it has a little um, magnifier that you can stick on up here or anywhere that you want on here. I know it's it's shiny. The sun is catching it here. There's only one problem. The lights won't go on. I switch it and it makes a noise. I, now listen. That's the speaker and that's telling me the lights are supposed to go on. Since I've put the whole thing together here, I've probably 
negated the ability to be able to take it back. I still love the mirror because it's such a nice large size and I have the natural light here. That's that's why I sit here. It's really the best place in the cottage to be able to get the natural light. But it would, would have been nice if it lit up. So as you can see, I have another one of my sweaters on today. My Aztec inspired, the one with the uh, turquoise and browns. And so I picked out one of my long, um, it's a nice long cozy, it's almost like a sweatshirt, but it's not quite that heavy. But I picked this color because of the turquoise colors in here. And I thought I'd put some of my turquoise jewelry on today. Besides my earrings, I have some things here. I had lost one of these the other day when I, <laughs> this is, a, this is a, a rabbit hole story. I lost one of these when I came home the day that I wore the big buffalo coat um, over to the hospital and back. It seems I'm in my car all the time. And it was pouring rain and, of course, the big coat and everything. Well, when I finally got in and started to undress, I realized one earring was missing. So I thought, oh, I, I, I like these. And I've had them a long time. And I thought, where did I go wrong? Well, I think it was... A day I forget where I went but I had a lot of packages I had done some food shopping on the way home I had my iced tea I had my little del taco shrimp tacos in another brown bag and then I had the the white shopping bags from from the supermarket I had ice and a few other things and I was just loaded up with everything well I I I don't know what happened when I I'm trying to figure out what happened to this. And I went outside and I couldn't find it, looked all over on the car, on the floor, on the way in, everywhere. And I thought, nope, it's gone. And then I remembered that I thought something dropped into something while I was loaded down with all these packages. I just it just occurred to me. So yesterday morning, I went through the trash. Talk about dumpster diving again. <laughs> I went through the all the uh, plastic sacks that I brought home from Vons. Some I saved some of them and some of them I throw out. So the, I, the ones in the broom closet, as we always called it as a kid, and I have more in there besides brooms. <clears throat> I always have a frog in my throat in the morning. Sorry. So I looked into those packages, wasn't in any of those empty ones there. So I I came out here. I don't think I had anything down on the floor, but packages of any sort, I looked everywhere. And then I remembered that I had my Del Taco brown bag, and this was a last resort. So of course, since it was two nights ago, I had put the wrappings and everything after I'd eaten my tacos that night, put them inside the brown bag and threw the brown bag in the trash. Well, I hadn't emptied the trash yet in the kitchen and it was building up. You know, I've discovered that we don't have nearly the amount of trash living alone like this. I don't spend anywhere near the amount of money on food. And since I'm so busy going back and forth to the hospital, I'm not gallivanting around either. But I did a dumpster dive in the kitchen trash. I got some more plastic bags and I started picking things out. Plus I had started to clean out the refrigerator. One of the jobs that I'm trying to do, I've had so many half finished jobs around the house trying to purge. If anyone came into the house now, I think they'd they put a sign on the house, shut me down. So I, I rooted and rooted halfway down, picking things out from the refrigerator, some cucumbers that had gone bad, a couple of tomatoes that weren't so happy. And I found a bag. Now, actually there were two bags in there because as you know, I was going a little wild on uh, those shrimp tacos from, from uh, Del Taco for a while there. So I finally picked one out, looked through it, opened up the foil that the shrimp was 
was in. Nope, didn't find it in there. Then I found one more down there, picked it out, went through it. Lo and behold, guess what was sitting down at the bottom of the Del Taco bag? Now that's a rabbit hole story, isn't it? <laughs> but you know what? I'm glad I did it because it just struck me. You know how things don't occur to you sometimes in the moment and then all of a sudden the light goes on? Amazing. So that's my rabbit hole story. Well, I did want to bring you up to date on all my growing things, my garden. Nothing is doing great. It's probably too cold. I brought in my microgreens. Remember, I was trying to grow watercress. Those have not progressed from the last time I showed them to you. They are about an inch and a half wide, but the leaves didn't get, I thought watercress was supposed to, the leaf was supposed to be maybe as big as my pinky or bigger. They're still as big as a pin. You know, it seems to be that my watercress has stalled in a way. You can see if I, it doesn't seem to have gotten any bigger. These little leaves are really tiny. I would have imagined those to get bigger. But in the meantime, the other little ones that I had planted from seeds that I've had for a year and found out there on the patio, this is an arugula cress, which is coming up beautifully. And that started to germinate in three days. And over here, I think is a radish um, cress of some kind. They're all micro green. My amaryllis did sprout four flowers, mainly because I did bring it into the bedroom where I have some cozy heat in there too. The garden outside, I don't think anything froze over that was starting to come up, although we did have some 38, 39 mornings or nights but I think we're okay. The cats are fine. They have been living in the shed or at least in there with during the rain and the cold. So that's fine. They were smart enough to do that. I was also feeding them in there too so that they would get the idea. So this video is not a very exciting video. I'm sorry. I was going to show you a, a coat or two, but you're probably getting tired of that. My update on decorating my mantle of, as an Irish village for St. Patrick's Day, I think I will visit um, my supermarket today and see if they have some of those pots of the live shamrock that needs a little more green, maybe look like trees are falling down over the mantle. And I have never finished it from this point on down to the end of the mantle. I haven't decorated. I do have some more little um, cottage ware that I wanted to pull out and put up there, but the rain kept me from, from rooting out there. I think you enjoyed my fashion shows of my coats and sweaters and my makeup. I'm, I'm still very pleased with, with the eyes. I'm following uh, my granddaughter's instructions to a T. I don't do my eyes until I put the e.l.f. powder on. Today, I, I used the wrong foundation. I grabbed something that looked like it, and it was not my Wet n' Wild Dewey. And I noticed a difference. I don't know why. I also didn't wait long enough. I had my um, Nivea on. I did wait after that, but then I think my uh, castor oil probably is showing through a little bit too much. Whatever. I'm on my way. I might include maybe a little visit with Moose if he's up to it. Take one when he was trying to do um, something difficult in the rehab workout room. And he did say, lose that video. want to have a talk on what you go through, not only your patient, but the caregiver. And I know so many of you ladies have taken care of your husbands for a long, long time. I have been a caretaker to Moosey for a number of years now. And I just kind of wanted to talk about the feelings and about how, and my daughters and so many people say this, you have to, you have to think about yourself and, and what you're doing and how you're 
loving yourself and caring for yourself because if you're not in top shape, you can't give the love and the care to your spouse if you're not. So maybe the next time we'll, we'll have a little talk and maybe I can dig up some fashion just to make it a, a little brighter. So thank you once again for watching and being my friend and supporting me so much during this. And of course, your, your wonderful prayers and well wishes for Moosey. And we seem to have a few new subscribers, quite a few new subscribers. And I welcome all of you. I hope that you'll continue to enjoy this. You know, it, my life right now is basically going back and forth to a hospital. And, and I was able to squeeze in some of these fashion shows and makeup videos this week, only because I decided I better start purging. No, it's not time to bring in the spring clothes yet here in California. It was an opportunity to bring things out and show them to you. They're still all over the couch. I haven't put them back yet, but because it's a nice day, I think I can hang them in the closets out in the shed to at least make some clearing and do some purging. And we have a, a tiny extra bedroom that I use as a, a closet room. Any of you watching, and I know there's so many people that watch and have not subscribed, please think about it. You might enjoy it. Actually, we do have some fun and for a woman uh, who's 85 years old, I, I think I can keep encouraging you to hang in there, that life is not so bad, that you can make choices and make decisions, that we get one life. And if you think about how to keep yourself busy and happy, you have a lot to look forward to. Take my word for it. Goodbye for now. I love you. And God bless us all.